is it normally if it's from like your finger or your arm, your skeletal muscle, all of that venous blood goes eventually directly right to the heart. It doesn't go anywhere else. It will first just go right to the heart, the superior, the inferior vena cava. With the digestive system, it's different. So all of the, so the small intestine and some of the large intestine and the portions of the stomach, all of the venous blood will first go to the liver and it'll enter into the liver, there's that flat model, in through the um, hepatic portal vein, which I don't think you can see on this model. <clears throat> What's number six? Number six. Oh, it is. Okay, so first all of that blood will come in through the hepatic portal vein. And then what it's going to do is a, just like, um, any large vein, it's going to separate off, and it separates into tinier uh, branches. And each, at each of the tips of the hexagons, and so these hexagons will be what you would see inside of the liver, at each of the hexagons, then there's going to be a branch of that hepatic portal vein. And it's called the portal triad because not only is there a branch of the hepatic portal vein, there's a branch of the hepatic artery and a bile duct is here as well. So the blood is going to be going this way. The bile so goes this way. way, working its way towards the central vein, whereas the bile is made by the hepatocytes and then secreted into a duct and it goes in the opposite direction and then goes into the duct and then eventually it's going to feed into the gallbladder and get squirted into the duodenum. But the hepatic portal blood, as it goes down and washes over these hepatocytes, then what's going to happen is it gets further metabolized. So the alcohol is going to be degraded by alcohol dehydrogenase. Um, other substances get further metabolized. And then the hepatic artery is dropping off the oxygen and the nutrients and other things to the hepatocytes because they're doing a big, big job. And so both, both of these, both of the, the vessels as the blood is going towards the center will eventually be blue because even the hepatic, or yeah, even the hepatic artery because it's dropping off the oxygen and gathering up the, uh, the CO2, it'll drain, both of them drain into the central vein, and then all of those uh, central veins will gather up into the hepatic vein, and then the hepatic vein, which we can't see because it's gonna be on the backside, I think, um, the hepatic vein is going to empty into the hepatic, um, or the uh, inferior vena cava, and then go to the right side of the heart. Awesome, thank Does that you. make a little bit more sense?